Oh, I'm so sexy. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is a subscriber recommended video. Do, do, yeah. Yes, that's right, Uncle Deadwood messaged me on Instagram and said that they saw this innovative temporary tattoo product and wondered if I would like to test it out on my YouTube. And apparently Uncle Deadwood is not affiliated with this company and this is not a sponsorship offer. So hopefully that's true, otherwise Uncle Deadwood's just scammed me into buying basically his product. I don't think it is. I also don't think he's my uncle. I don't, I don't think I have an Uncle Deadwood. It would be so weird if he was actually my uncle, wouldn't it? And he just didn't tell us. But anyway, yes, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be trying some temporary tattoos and I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be fun. As you can see, I'm into tattoos. Okay, so this is the company here, Inkbox, which obviously specializes in temporary tattoos. And I bought a few different things from this site because they do just their regular kind of temporary tattoos, their own designs and stuff that you can purchase. And then you can also make your own, but their own tattoo designs, they actually look really nice. There's like love hearts and planets and snakes and flowers and all sorts. And the custom design tattoo that you can do, you basically just upload a photo or if you're into kind of digital art and stuff, you can obviously draw your own and then upload it. And I decided I would try to upload a picture of me dressed as a sexy Terry's chocolate orange because just iconic. And I tried my best to make this tattoo look as good as it can be. It is quite a busy picture, so I don't know how this tattoo is going to look. I think it's more for very plain and minimal things. And that's just not me. So that was my custom tattoo. I can't remember which normal one I bought. Oh, I think this is the one that I bought. It's called Razorback and it was nine pound. And it's a very geometric triangular mountainscape, which I think looks really cool to be fair. I would actually happily get that as an actual tattoo. And then also on this site, what did I buy? I got a bit carried away, I'm not gonna lie. So I also bought their artist kit for 31 pounds. And I think this is basically a product where you can make your own tattoos, if I've read it right. It says a powerful new tool for self expression Expression. The freehand tattoo marker artist kit comes complete with everything you need to trace, transfer, and draw one-of-a-kind designs. From hyper-detailed realism tattoos to flowy abstract pieces, the possibilities are endless. And apparently it's not intended for the face, lips, eyes, neck, upper chest, intimate areas, irritated skin, or damaged skin. Which is a shame, because I wanted to put... I'm joking, I didn't. I was gonna actually put some of these on my face, but then I read that the tattoos last approximately one to two weeks, and I thought, no, I shouldn't do that, because I have to go to work. Yeah, so apparently these tattoos are long-lasting, it's waterproof, it's easy to use, and it's skin safe. All right, it looks pretty decent, and it looks like a lot of fun, and I don't think I've ever had a temporary tattoo since I was a kid. You know the little ones you used to get in the bubble gum? Like, I think the bubble gum was like, probably like five pence, and you got a temporary tattoo wrapped around it. But this is a very adult sophisticated kind of temporary tattoo and I'm excited to get tatted so let's open this up and see what it's like. Okay so I've got my two little packages here. This is obviously the kit that I bought and unfortunately the box is a bit beat up. I haven't opened this it just arrived like this so that's a bit of a shame but I'm not gonna blame them I'm gonna blame the courier. And then I assume in here we're going to have my custom design tattoo and the one that I bought from their kind of site, their pre-made tattoos. I'm going to start with the ones that I've already bought just so I can kind of figure this out. All right, let's have a look at these. It says change is good. I absolutely hate change. I like everything to be the same forever and always. Okay, so in this kit, I've got two primer wipes, and apparently it helps smooth and hydrate your skin, ensuring optimal tattoo application. Okay, we've got my two tattoos here, and then what's this? Okay, so this tells us how to obviously use my tattoos. I'm assuming it won't be that difficult. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this sounds like a bit of a pain in the ass. So I need to obviously prep my skin with these little primer wipes for 30 seconds and exfoliate the area. And then I need to wait 30 seconds for the area to dry. And then it's weird, I have to apply the tattoo, then leave it on for 60 minutes, and then I'm allowed to take it all off. And apparently my tattoo will look light blue or green at first, and then it will darken in 24 to 36 hours. And then from then on, because obviously I've got these tattoos on, I have to cover the tattoo with loose clothing the first night as the ink can transfer on another body part. Avoid exfoliating your tattoo until you're ready to remove it. Actions like scrubbing in the shower, swimming in salt water will gradually fade your tattoo. Continue to hydrate your skin by moisturizing daily and drink lots of water. Wait at least eight hours after applying your tattoo to moisturize or shower. It 
Well, I've already showered, so I won't be showering for a while. Well, I'll be showering the next day. And also on here, if you have dense hair, you have to shave at least 24 hours prior to applying your tattoo. Well, I just recently trimmed all my arm hair down, so I should be fine. I had a good grooming day, you know, when you just take it all off. Did everything, did absolutely everything. I had enough hair to stuff a cushion. All right, let's just start tattooing myself. I'm so bored of instructions. Okay, we'll go for the custom designed one first. All the packaging apparently is plant derived as well. So it's all compostable. So that's nice. So that's the custom design up close. Obviously it looks kind of blue and I'm assuming it's gonna look better than this once it's on and once it's developed, but that looks quite nice. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Where do I want it? I'm thinking here. I've got a burn on my arm there off the oven at work. I don't wanna stick it over that. I think they'll look really nice actually. That is prime my skin. <sighs> they don't smell of anything. I have moisturized my arms as well, so. Probably just want to get the moisturizer off. Ooh, exfoliate this little patch of skin. Okay, and then I'll just wait for that to dry. And on the little tattoo things, this is the side you peel off. So you don't peel off this side. So just peel that off like that. Okay. I'm so nervous because if I screw this up, I haven't got a replacement. All right, there's no wrinkles, it's fully applied. Gorgeous. Okay. Ah, oh, I think I've done a good job of that. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably tightened my arm up. There we go. I have to leave it on for 16, what's the time now? Where's my phone at? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's half nine in the morning, so I can peel this off at half 10. Reminders. And it says, avoid excessive movement and sweating. So I'll leave that one there, and I'm gonna move on to the next one. I've put that in such an annoying position because it's like restricted my arm. Like I feel like I can't, can't do anything with my hand. All right, let's move on to the sexy Terry's chocolate orange tattoo. This will be fun. If you're new to the channel, by the way, and you don't know what I'm talking about with the sexy Terry's chocolate orange thing, I'll leave a video up in this corner. Then you might understand it a little bit better. I feel like I say things that'll just confuse random people that come across my videos. Ooh, this looks good. And you know what? I think I want that as a permanent tattoo. I'm not gonna lie. Look how cool I look. Oh, I'm so sexy. I'll put it up here, but I'll just do it away from that burn because it says not to do it on broken skin. Thing is, this is really fun. I was, well, I wasn't gonna take the piss out of it, but I wasn't, I didn't have particularly high hopes. But something like this is just a really fun activity. I enjoy it anyway. I will say that the tattoos are on the expensive side, but I'm assuming that the quality of these is gonna be good. And so far as well, like all the packaging and sticking it on and stuff, it doesn't feel cheap, it feels nice. I'll be devastated if it doesn't work. Do I want myself looking at me or looking away from us? I'll have myself looking away from us because it'll be a bit weird if I'm looking at myself. I think that'll be nice. I can imagine this product as well being really good for someone who wants a tattoo but isn't sure whether they're gonna actually like it or not. And then obviously you could always get a temporary one like this, put it on yourself for a couple of weeks, and then if you do like it, you know you'll like it forever. And then if you don't like it, you know not to get yourself tattooed. Because people get scared of like tattoos and stuff because obviously it's a huge commitment. But like I just, I just don't care. Like you only live once. Do whatever you want with your body. My sexy Terry's chocolate orange is on my my arm. Now I think we'll try and design some, which is going to be difficult because I can't move my arm. Okay, so for some reason with this kit, I thought you were going to be able to kind of draw onto these, basically these like patch things and then make your own tattoo, but it doesn't look like it's that. It's basically a pen that you can just draw on your skin with to create a tattoo and then you put the development stuff over it. That's what I've read anyway. Okay, so we've got some development patches in here, a ton of tracing paper if you obviously want to trace a design and then kind of trace it on your skin. We've got the stencil cream, a pen. I think that's the tattoo pen and then the tracing pen. I had an idea of what I wanted to do and I don't need to trace anything. So I don't think I need to use any of that. I assume I'll just be able to draw on my skin and put the development patches over. Because one thing I've always wanted is some tattoos on your hands. And I was going to write bitch slap on my hands, but then I remembered I have to go to work and I can't have the word bitch on my hands because that would be very inappropriate. Your special has now become not very special. Thanks to dick face there. So I think I just want to draw some designs on my fingers. Then I'll wrap it in the development stuff. Just basically like this is done. And then obviously wait an hour. And then I should technically have whatever I've done on my fingers on my fingers for a couple of weeks. So hopefully this turns out okay. I just want to freehand it. I'm not tracing anything. I really want to draw something really inappropriate on my fingers, but I know I'll get wrong at work. I'm going to do just some like little symbols I think. Maybe it's a triangle. Okay, a little triangle. That's cute. I'm gonna go 
of uh, like a little star kind of design. Oh yes, I'll do a circle or attempt to do a circle. In fact, I'm gonna turn the circle into a little face. You don't realize like how cracked your skin is and stuff because the pen just kind of bleeds into your skin. And I might just do a square on this finger. What design do I want on my thumb? I might just do a circle and then a line. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna turn this into a stick person. It's definitely quite difficult to kind of freehand it onto yourself, but I think I've done an all right job. I think that looks okay. So now again, I would just take the development stuff and stick it around here. Okay, I don't know whether I would recommend doing it on your fingers because that was incredibly hard. It was so fiddly, but I feel like I've done it. Right, so I've got my tattoos on my arm and on my fingers. I'll come back here in 60 minutes time. We'll take all the kind of plastic stuff off, but hopefully they're gonna look good. I feel like I've done everything right and I'm really excited to see what it's gonna look like. So time will tell. <laughs> Okay, so I can finally get these off, which I'm very thankful for because they've been driving me insane. This one, I don't know whether it's because of the position, but it's been moving all over the place. It's been flipping and flapping and just driving us crazy. So I'll get these off, see what they're looking like. Obviously they're very green at the minute, but it says that it'll darken up in 24 to 36 hours. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's get this one off. That one turned out a bit blurry, I think, but I I'm sweating underneath them. I'm sweating so much. It's hard not to sweat. Like, how do you control your sweating? Take these ones off as well. I also don't understand these ones because they're already black, whereas these ones are like a bluey green. Oh, oh, it feels so nice to get this off. See, even my fingers are sweating. Like, they're so wet. Okay, well, the ink doesn't seem to be moving, so that's good. That's what they're looking like at the minute. Obviously, I'm, I'm pretty sure that one's gone blurry. I think it was the positioning, and I got really wet under there. And my little hand ones, I think they're basically just going to look the same. I don't think they're going to change much because they're already black. But that was fun. I, it was a really nice experience. I enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what these are going to look like. I especially can't wait to see what these two look like once they've eventually started to darken up. So it's exactly 24 hours since I put these on and they've darkened up quite a lot. Like the mountain one actually looks really nice and I've been showered and everything. Unfortunately... <laughs> My sexy Terry's chocolate orange tattoo. It just doesn't look good anymore. It's gone far too blurry and you can't really tell what it is. And I think the reason it's gone blurry is because the tattoo itself was too complicated and it moved around a lot as I'd put it on. Also with this tattoo, it has transferred some ink up on the top of my arm. The finger tattoos. Now this one's a really weird one because I washed my hands at one point and all the ink kind of blurred on them. It was almost like when you draw on your hand and the ink just kind of rubs off. That's what it looked like. But it's darkened again and they're all fully visible. And they actually, they don't look too bad. Obviously they're not like the most amazing tattoo designs ever. And unfortunately, because of where I've done them on my fingers, the kind of inks ran into all my skin cracks and it just looks a bit weird doesn't it so i don't think it's ideal for fingers but i think i would get something similar to that tattooed on my hand like i quite like it i like the style and the position of it but i'll document these over the next week or so and we'll see how they hold up see if anything changes see how long they last and then i'll give you my final thoughts on it all <laughs> Okay, so my week with ink box is finally up and it's definitely been an interesting one so obviously the finger tattoos are pretty much gone now the thumb one was the first one to go which you would expect because obviously you're washing your hands a lot more the arm tattoos are still on they faded quite a lot but yeah i'm quite surprised they lasted a week to be fair i know they said they lasted two weeks but i think they would only last two weeks if you literally didn't wash them and i think the only negatives i have with ink box is the fact that all the tattoos you can get are all just black and white there's no color and 
And that's just a little bit upsetting because I would like some colourful tattoos. And the other thing is the fact that they're more on the expensive side. It's definitely not a cheap product for a temporary tattoo. So with that being said, I'm going to give Inkbox four temporary tattoos out of five. I thought I thought it was pretty good. I've enjoyed myself. And I think if you're really good at like illustration and drawing and stuff like that, you'd obviously get way more use out of the tattoo pen than what I did. Because my designs were just, they were just very simple, weren't they? I don't think anyone would want that tattooed on themselves. But it has given me the tattoo bug. I really fancy a new tattoo now. But let me know what your thoughts are on these temporary tattoos and the temporary tattoo kit and all that kind of other stuff. And if you have any other products or anything like that you want me to test out, then feel free to let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next week for a brand new video. I feel like you can see me a little more in that tattoo. I can move my face as well. Hello.